So I got my new Eagle Tree Vector this week and uh, I put it on my Flip 360 to give it its maiden voyage and when I gave it throttle it took off and kind of kept going up on its own and as I tried to pull back on the throttle it wouldn't throttle down. And uh, needless to say at some point it um, started free falling end over end and I've taken it apart but here you can see the the top. There's really not that much damage here although one of the bobbins did break off. Uh, unfortunately the bottom is a different story. Now, this looks a little worse for the wear because I did take it apart. Uh, one of the arms was broken and so I replaced that. There was some question about what sort of ESC's I was running. These are uh, 20 amp. These are uh, 20 amp ESC's with a uh, 5 volt 3 amp U-back. These are from uh, multi-rotor uh, Actually, I think they're from Quadrasteria. Either that or Multi-Rotor Superstore. So they were not DJI. I know there's some question about DJI um, ESCs causing issues. But just to show you, uh, it landed obviously on one of its arms. And I don't know if you can see it here, but the, the top board on my, uh, on my Flip 360 here is cracked. This was, these are, of course, the, the dirty plates. And then the bottom board is also cracked, so I'm going to have to replace those. I've had to replace an arm. Of course, unfortunately, also destroyed one of my uh, FreeSky voltage sensors, sensors that's pretty new. I'm going to have to replace as well. And of course, you can see it, it broke off several of the props, which is no big deal. So anyway, uh, <clears throat> I went ahead and... I went ahead and installed the Eagle Tree Vector on one of my 3D Robotics quad frames I had sitting around. This is a 2014 quad frame. And uh, I don't know if you can see here. Of course, I'm not flying this, so it, it's still in pieces, mainly for testing. But here's the Vector underneath here. Uh, you can see I do have the 3D Robotics. Uh, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I do have the 3D Robotics Power Distribution Board. Here is the Eagle Tree Vector current sensor, which I'll plug my 4S LiPo directly into. Uh, oh dear. One of the casualties, of course, was the GPS. I did manage to take it apart and put it back together, but as you can see, it's fallen apart on film. So I've put my GPS back together and hopefully it'll hold together for this video. I'm assuming I'll probably have to replace that as well. Uh, this, sadly, this one little maiden voyage has probably cost me, I don't know, 150, 200 bucks maybe. Um, so I've got it here on this board and you can see I'm just running a little 5.8 gigahertz video so I can record what happens. I wanted to do a test so that you can see uh, after I plugged, after I put the, the vector on my 3D ro robotics quad, I went ahead and, and tested it here in the house, and uh, what's happening is, as you give it a little throttle, it just kind of throttles up to some level that is not really responsive to the amount of throttle that you've given it, and um, it's really not responsible responsive to the throttle at all, and I'll show you that here. Okay, so I have my 3D Robotics quad with the Vector hooked up to a 4S LiPo that is uh, ready-made RC. I actually kind of like these. It's a 6600 MAH ready-made RC. It's actually a, a two, three, two three cell LiPos run in uh, parallel. Um, so I've got it hooked up to that and I'm going to show you now what's happening. I'm running this off a FreeSky Tyrannus which is connecting to a FreeSky X6R. So here's my Tyrannus. I'm going to go ahead and arm the copter. I have it in, let's see, I have it in 2D hold mode right now, so I'm going to go ahead and arm the copter. Okay, so first of all, you can see the motors don't all come on at the same time. I'm going to go ahead and ramp the throttle just a tad. It's actually a little more responsive now than it was before. Now I have it all the way up almost. Now I have it all the way up. I'm getting the ESC saturation error on my OD OSD. If I bring it back down, now if I take it back up, you'll see how much more power I get. Well, 
Yeah, see it's just kind of random. Now it's not actually going to, even though I've got it full throttle, I'm getting ESC saturation and the motors aren't spinning all the way up. So let's try this one more time. So now I've got it all the way up and the motors are spinning up to probably a little more than a three quarters of what they should. I have the gain at 100%, so if I ran, run the gain up, let me take it all the way back down and then back up. Yeah, see, so I'm gonna put it in 2D, I'm sorry, I had it in 2D no hold. Here's 2D hold mode. Let's put the gain all the way up. Let's bring the gain down. So that's the gain at 100%. And whatever the lowest gain setting is, I'll have to check, to check that. Maybe it's 50%, I can't remember. Take it down. You can see, as I move the throttle, the motor response is just not there. So I'm not sure what to do from here. Um, you know, these are standard 3B, 3D robotics ESCs, so uh, hopefully somebody out there has some suggestions.